I'm terrible about remembering all of the port numbers to access all of the web UIs from my containers. So today, I've got something exciting to share with you. A sleek and modern dashboard called Homer. It's designed to put all your favorite apps and services right at your fingertips. What's even better? We're going to show you how to set it up in your Docker container for maximum flexibility. So let's dive right in. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at what Homer is all about. Homer is a powerful dashboard that unifies your applications and services in one central location, making it easier than ever to access and manage your digital workspace. It has over 15 integrations to control and monitor your network, plenty of widgets to display data and control apps such as Radar, Sonar, Pi-hole, and Dash. It also has over 7,000 icons for popular websites and applications, and also general use. It also has the ability to search through your apps and supported integrations. Now let's get on into the installation. First, you're going to want to make sure that you have Docker already installed. If you're unsure of what this is or how to install it, you can watch my video on how to install Docker along with Portainer for easy management of your Docker containers. The first thing we're going to want to do to get started with installing Homer is we're going to need to make a few directories to, for our containers to store the configs, data, and the icons. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is make a directory for to hold all my apps and their future data and you can use the ls command to see our apps folder here. And then we're going to move on over into our apps folder. And we're gonna make another directory specifically for Homer. All right, and then we're gonna move over into our Homer folder, and then we're gonna make three directories. We're going to make one for our configs. We're gonna make one for our data. And we're gonna make one more for icons. And then after that, we're gonna move on over into our configs folder. And we're going to print our working directory with PWD. And what you're going to want to do with this information is copy it and paste it on over into a notepad. All right. And then you can back out of that folder with cd dot dot. Move on over into our data folder. Print the working directory again. Copy that. cd dot dot to back out again and we're going to move into our icons folder. And then we're going to print the working directory again, one last time, and copy it into our notes again. We're going to be running this command here. And as you can see, it has a few things saying your path Homer configs, your path Homer data, and your path Homer icons. So we're gonna be replacing up to the colon with the things that we copied. All right, so we can replace that. We can replace this over here. Then we can replace the icons path. All right, and then you can copy that, get rid of it. We're going to cd dot dot. We're going to get back to our home directory and then sudo and paste that command in, which you can find on the Homer install page that I will link in the description. All right, and it was unable to find the image on our machine locally, so it's pulling it from the internet and extracting. This may take a little bit, but for future purposes, whenever you need to update or relaunch this container, it should boot up fairly quickly. All right, now that the download is complete, we can move on over into our web browser. You'll be able to access the Homer dashboard from the IP address of your machine with the port 7575. And if you do not know how to get the IP address of your machine, you can just type in hostname tech I. And there you go, that's your IP address. All right, and you may get this screen saying that you need to start an update for your Homer dashboard. So after clicking that, you may get an, uh, a message saying that you need to update your path mappings. Uh, showing that you need to add this line here, but we do have that line, so I'm not exactly sure what the issue is. But you can just click continue. It's going to ask you to make your administrator account. You can click continue. It's gonna say congratulations, you've set Homer up, and you can just go to your board. All right, so the first thing that you can do in here is enter edit mode. And then when you enter edit mode, you'll see a few things. You'll see that each tile has its own edit menu where you can change settings and other attributes of that tile. So you can just get rid of this welcome to Homer, get rid of the documentation, 
and all of the other extraneous tiles. And then to add a tile, you just click over here and add an app. So such as our portainer instance, which is living at port 9443. And then you can also copy that over into the external address. This internal address is what it's using to ping. And then the external address is the actual address that you will be getting sent to in the web browser. You can change the behavior, whether it opens up in the current tab or a new one. You can also change some of the appearance settings. And then if it has an integration, you can add that in here. Then just click save. And there you go, you've added your first app. Also, another really cool thing that uh, you might have noticed whenever you were in here is that whenever you type in the name of the app, it will automatically try and pull the icon for it. All right, and then if you would like to organize or rearrange your dashboard, you can use this little expansion arrow right here. You can make it larger sideways or up and down, and then you can also drag them around. All right, and then another really cool thing is that you can add categories. So such as network management, and then drag your tiles into it. All right, and then I also did mention widgets, which you can come in here, add a widget, and then you can add things such as calendars, weather, date and time, RSS feeds, your media server. There's so many different cool things that you can add in here. All right, so I can just add my calendar and you can see that it is populated here. And then it also, again, has different sort of settings that you can change. It's very customizable. All right, and that wraps it up for today. We have just installed Homer in a Docker container and shown you how to set it up. If you have any issues with anything that we did here today, please feel free to put a comment down below in the description with your problem, and I will try to help you solve it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.